In this video, we are going to walk through the best baby shoes that won't impact your baby's development. Hey, it's Morgan here with Passable Parent, where we help you improve developmental outcomes for your child and find the joy in parenting. I've been a pediatric nurse for the past 10 years, specializing in early childhood development. I'm also a new mom. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. So before we jump into the best baby shoes that won't impact development, I first want to start off and say that this is my cat, Olive, and she would like to be featured on today's video. <laughs> okay, so before we get started, I just want to talk about how your child should learn how to walk first barefoot. So when your child gets to the age where they're starting to attempt to walk, you really don't want to put the shoes on them until they actually are able to take some steps without support barefoot. It might seem strange to you, but they're going to learn how to walk inside first, and that's usually done barefoot, and you really don't want to put shoes on them until they can figure out that first. I found from my own personal experience, actually taking your child to a shoe store and having them fitted for their first walking shoe is great. <music> some great stores that offer really great walking shoes it's completely free you don't have to buy the shoe instead of just ordering off the internet and trying to guess and return things exchange things I actually found out that my child's foot is extra wide so I had a really hard time finding him shoes taking him to get fitted for shoes at a local shoe store was a great investment I was able to figure out his size <laughs> So let's get into it. I have some examples here of good shoes and not so good shoes. So let's start with the good shoes. So these shoes are great. I'm pretty sure you can buy them online or go to the shoe store. They have this brand of shoe. I really like shoes that have Velcro to put them on and off because when your baby is young, it's, it's really hard to lace things up and also laces could be a choking hazard. So just something to think about. I really like the Velcro shoes. What's great about these shoes is actually the sole on them. So the sole on them has grip and it helps your baby walk. It's also not too thick. So you don't want too thin of a sole and you don't want too thick of a sole. And it has ridges in it which help with walking. When your baby's learning to walk, they're wobbly. So these are all really important features in the shoes that you're selecting. The grooves also give them traction and you want this shoe to be bendable and flexible. So this has like a little bit of bend to it, you can see. This brand of shoes, the Stride Rights, are really great for my child because they are wider and he does have a wider foot. Great company, they have all different types of shoes and I definitely recommend checking them out. These are a great shoe. These are New Balances. New Balance is another shoe company that actually has wide sizes. So if you also have a child that has a wider foot, these are some brands that are really great for child's wider foot. So these New Balances are great. And as you can see, they also have a lot of ridges on the bottom of the shoe, which helps for new walkers and balance and coordination. And also another Velcro, but has the illusion of having laces. So oh, that's really nice. You don't have to worry about tying them up, but you know, more of an athletic look. And these are another pair of stride rights. I just wanted you to see how, you know, they have all different types of styles in this company. And again, the nice ridges and grooves on the bottom of the shoe, they're a little dirty because we do get a lot of use out of them. And you can see that, you know, it's not too thick. There's not a big top on it. So it's easy for your child's foot to slide in and it's great for walking. These are also really great shoes. And again, the Velcro really like this company a lot. And I do just want to say your baby's feet are growing so quickly. So you may not want to purchase too many shoes at a time, maybe just one or two pairs of shoes because, you know, it can add up and be pricey and your baby's feet are growing and changing so quickly. So that's just something to think about. If you get joy out of having a lot of different shoes for your child, then by all means have at it, but uh, their feet do grow very quickly. So just something to keep in mind. 
And now that we talked about some really good shoes and the reasons why they're good, which they have breathable material and fabrics, they are all flexible and a little bit bendable. They all have some grooves on the bottom to help with walking and new walkers with their balance. They also don't have too thick of soles, which is very important. And they also don't have really high tops that kind of constrict your baby's ankles, which can be really difficult when you're first learning how to walk. So again, these are examples of some really good shoes. Brands are New Balance and Stride Rights. I can link down below in the description box these shoes uh, that I found. And then let's move on to the shoes that are not so great for your baby and they do not help with their development and learning how to walk. Okay, so not so great shoes. These may be super cute, <laughs> and at least I thought so anyway, but these are not so great for first learning how to walk. They have a thicker sole to them, and I'm just gonna use a pair of the Stride Rights in comparison so you can see side by side how this has like a little bit of a heel on it, and it has this gap here, which is not so great for walking. It also has the high top to it, so this constricts your child's ankle and it makes it harder for them to learn how to walk in them when they're first learning how to walk. So that's not so great with it. So it also has laces and these are real laces. So they could be undone by your child, which would be very impressive. <laughs> hey, things happen, so I definitely always warn caregivers that laces could be a choking hazard. So that's something to think about. And that's why I would not recommend shoes like this for when your baby is first starting to learn how to walk. I think once they're a competent walker and they've really got the hang of it, then by all means, you can start introducing shoes such as this one. But for first learning how to walk, this is not gonna be a great shoe. Okay, so these boots, they are sort of a flat sole to them. They don't have the nice, like hard sole. It's a little bit too rigid. You can't really bend them at all. There's really no way to flex them at all. There's also the laces again and the high ankle that can constrict your baby's ankle. So I would not recommend starting off with a shoe such as these. Another example of a shoe that would be not great for starting to learn how to walk would be a shoe such as this one. This is really for really aesthetics. This is when your baby is smaller. It's very cute. It's basically made out of all cotton and it's very soft. So this was a great shoe for my child when he was younger and just for pictures, but this is not something that provides any support. You really just bend it in half, which you know, you don't want to completely be able to do that. Um, and there's just nothing on the bottom. It's completely smooth. It's a slipping hazard, a falling hazard. So definitely not a shoe that you would want to have your baby in when they're learning how to walk. It will not enhance their development. Another example of a shoe that is not good for learning how to walk is this one. Same problem, same issue, a smooth bottom. There's no ridges, no grooves to help with their balance and coordination. It does have laces on it. Yeah, there's really no support with this. There's a smooth bottom, which is tripping and falling. And really this is another one just for aesthetics. And finally, I'm gonna bring us to this shoe. Again, this shoe has a very thick bottom, which can be harder to walk in. It also has a high top, which constricts the ankles. So again, an example of a shoe that I would not recommend starting your child out in when they're learning how to walk. This is definitely a down the line shoe once they're a competent walker that you can introduce. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope that was helpful. Please, if you have any questions, comment them down below. I will link all the items in the description box for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. I hope to see you next time.